everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And today I want to talk to you about building routines. Something that I suck at. Okay, so if you have watched my channel for any amount of time, you will know that I do not have routines established. I am horrible at them. I am like, I don't know. You know how they have like type A personalities and type B personalities and type A people are known for being super organized and list makers and type B people are known for being scatterbrained and creative and I'm neither of those things. I mean, yes, I'm scatterbrained and yes, I make lists, <laughs> but I'm not organized. Um, I'm not a creative person. I feel like I'm like, I don't know, something in the middle. And I have never been good at routines. And I have tried to establish routines in the past and I have just failed miserably. I printed myself this out. Um, what, how, how long ago? Like probably four months ago. I'm not even sure. It might have been longer than that because I don't know if I was pregnant when I printed this out. And it's a very simple list. This is a morning list which has things like empty the dishwasher, make coffee, get ready, make the bed. And then I have an afternoon list, which says switch the laundry. Start laundry's up here, says what's for dinner. Um, neaten anything up, is there any dinner prep I can do? And then before bed, dinner clean up and things like that. Okay, so this worked really well for me for like the week I did it. Um, and some things have changed since then. Our dishwasher is broken and we need to buy a new one. And I am not willing to put one on credit, so we're waiting until we have saved the amount of money that we need to save to buy a new one. And that's on top of saving for Christmas and holidays and things like that. We're saving in addition to those. So, um, I'm hand washing all of our dishes. And as a slacker who likes to procrastinate everything, guess how well that's going? Not very. So, I want to make an effort to establish some routines. You guys have watched me sweat to death trying to spring clean this house and clean things out. And while I'm definitely no minimalist, um, I found that just getting rid of a lot of that stuff really helped me. Like, mentally, I feel better. Physically, looking around, I feel better. Um... And I'm a lot more likely to clean because there's less just stuff everywhere. So while it is not perfect at the moment, it is much cleaner than it was before I spring cleaned. So I need to establish a good dish routine, a good laundry routine, and a good neatening routine, right? So what I wanted to talk to you about today is, as I've already said, um, I wanted to talk about creating routines like a daily, a weekly, a monthly. I wanted to discuss creating these routines because everybody that has ever been successful at doing anything has said that routines were the key, right? You get into a routine, you keep doing it, try again and try again and try again until you finally get it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to, I have to make some edits. This is just Leo's colored on the back. Um, I bought like the cheapy cheap, like this feels like, I don't know, it's not good quality. My point is, is I bought these at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar. I printed this off on my printer, but you could write one by hand. And I found a dry erase marker. I don't even know where it came from or where, you know, why I have it, but I found it. So I have these things that I've already previously put on here. I'm going to take my pen here and edit this from saying um, load dishes to wash dishes um, and from empty dishwasher to empty dish drainer because I know that this worked for me 
and I need to go on to find a weekly list that works for me because there are certain tasks that only need done weekly. You only need to change your sheets on your bed once a week. You only need to scrub your bathtub or your shower once a week. You, you know, there are certain things that you need to do weekly. Um, and there are certain things you need to do monthly and yearly and all that. Well, if you have ever heard of Fly Lady, which you probably have because you're on YouTube and you're watching a mommy cleaning channel, and if you've heard of her, then you know that her system is focused on routines and baby steps. And while I have done Fly Lady in the past, and I love the concept of routines, um, it's probably because of me. It just didn't work for me, and I'm sure that that's because I, I didn't follow through. But again, I'm just going to keep trying. <laughs> so this time I'm attempting to create my own routines and my own schedule and things like that. Um, I have a rough idea of the way that I like to do things for the week. Um, I do, I like to do like planning on Monday, errands on Tuesday, um, and really nothing for the rest of the week because that's just how I am. But uh, I'm looking to change that. I've made my changes about the dishes and uh, so basically to keep this short sweet and to the point because it's Monday because it's the beginning of the week I'm trying to get this uploaded as soon as possible so that you can help me and help yourself so it's Monday April 9th and I'm trying to get this uploaded like soon 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 it is 1130 in the morning and I have had a productive day so far I'm hoping to continue that productivity throughout the week. Um, what do they call it? Like Monday motivation or motivational Monday. Like I, f I always feel super motivated on Mondays. But I'm looking to get that continued throughout the week. So I am going to just work on my daily list for this week. And if I can continue this daily list and start next Monday with it, you know, with everything caught up and it's been working for me, then I'm going to attempt to add a weekly list and then, a, you know, continue a monthly uh, and so on and so forth. And what I want from you, my sweet friends, is I want to know what works for you routine wise. What advice can you give me on starting routines and sticking to them? Uh, because it just does not come naturally to me and I am, I'm wanting to work to change the fact that our house is always messy. Like, I I love so much that I have found so many of you that can relate to that because I felt very alone in that aspect for a long time. I felt like I was the only one who ever had my house get like this and it was so depressing. But also, I don't wanna live like that all the time. I understand that houses get messy, but I don't want it to be that way day in and day out. So I'm looking to start something that is gonna work for me and uh, I want to do it with you guys. So if you decide to jump on the, the routine wagon with me, if you don't already have one, if you do already have one, um, you know, let me know what works for you and how, how you got started maybe in the beginning. Um, I have a few YouTube people that I watch that are really good with their routines. Uh, and also, I wanted to say, if you are a YouTube if you, even if you're not a YouTuber and you want to start uploading videos, if you're an established channel, if you're not, I would love to do some routine collaboration videos with you. Um, so, I've just talked about our process. I think that uh, next Monday I would like to post a recap of how my weekly list went, um, or not weekly, a recap of how my daily list went. A plan for my weekly list and um, you know any tips that we have for other people that are starting so uh, reach out to me on Instagram if you want to collab with me on this because I think that it could be a lot of fun and I think it could be inspirational to so many other ladies out there because I know from personal experience that it's not always easy and it does not always come naturally sometimes we have to work at things and I'm one of those unfortunate people. If you want to see a picture of this so that it's static, uh, you can check it out on Instagram. Otherwise, I will just copy my list that I have made for myself, my daily list, 
and I'll put it in the description so that you can see what I'm doing and you know you can take maybe inspiration for that um, so let me know what works for you and I will see you guys next Monday for our Monday motivation and uh, we'll talk about our weekly plan and how our daily plan has gone for this week so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I'm always working on something like this and it's it's uh, neat to follow along and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!